Uh, yeah. I'll be eagerly anticipating the title to issue 100 down the end of the road is taken. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, no, I don't know what the title is going to be. But, I mean, you know, one of the titles we bandied around, The War to End All Wars, will probably feature in there some, somehow towards the end. Yeah. Uh, even though the uh, Transformers community wants issues 81 to 100, do you worry that uh, bringing Transformers to the Marvel Comics back to the general comic uh, public will be, will, will be kind of hard for them to get used to? I don't know. I mean, the, the very nature of Transformers is that different series seem to be able to coexist side by side without particularly confusing or off-putting. And it doesn't seem to change sales particularly. It, you know, us releasing issue 81 will not suddenly halve the ongoing sales. It just doesn't seem to work that way. So I think these things can coexist. And Hasbro and IDW were both aware of this possible, you know, do we need the sort of the, the kind of confusion of another G1. But I think, you know, Transformers readers now are, are sophisticated enough that I don't think it will make anybody bat an eyelid, really, that there are two G1s.